Beauty News family, welcome to the February 9th edition of Beauty News. Or if you're in the US or the UK, we know oh. it's the 8th. Mm-hmm. We see you there in the past. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Got your back. Uh, so, we're going to talk about new things and updates today. Yeah. We haven't had a lot of updates coming in so far, so we're thinking potentially we won't have an updates episode on monday mm-hmm. however other content we will have other, other content for you yeah. so don't you worry well our don't monday wednesday friday upload schedule is not changing it's back it's, it's back, back with a vengeance it is we just might swap out an updates video for something else yeah every now and then that's true so let's get started with something new these are from Alme. They are the Jelly Highlights. These will be available February 18th online at Ulta and in stores March 11th. So these sort of look like, what was that brand, Fasali? Yes, yeah, yeah. They had a jelly highlighter. They had the unicorn drops and then they made like a jelly one. The, the jelly, yeah, the yeah. tub highlighter. Yeah. This sort of gives me that vibe. Yeah. Maybe less intense. Maybe, potentially. I think the packaging is really pretty and I think the product looks visually yeah. appealing yeah. too so that's nice um aussies we've got something from astralis they're released or they have released uh magnetic palettes these are ten dollars each and they're also selling single eyeshadows for four dollars each these are currently available on a price line so i'm super pumped that there's an, a brand i'm gonna sneeze wait 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 <laughs> bless <Woo>! you <laughs> oh, all right Sneezing is so satisfying. Unless you pop off your eyelashes. Yeah, that, that shit ain't, that's not cool. That's Especially not cute. when you just got them on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm happy to see that there is a brand in Australia that's releasing really cheap uh, pan eyeshadows because yes. um, we're not going to have a shake up in the market like the US. The US MAC, um, their pan eyeshadows are $6 each. Yep. And that was a, like as a G. A G. A knee-jerk reaction. I've been sick this week, guys. Yeah. I'm just, I'm starting to like, <laughs> just, my brain's starting to just come around. starting to come back. Um, yeah, so there's a knee-jerk reaction to brands like Makeup Geek um, flooding the market and yeah. um, really making the prices more competitive. We haven't had that in Australia. So our MAC single eyeshadows are still like $28 or something a pair. <clears throat> Something yep. ridiculous, way is... beyond six dollars. Yeah. So I'm glad to see that there are brands that are doing this. Yeah. My only problem is that these look cheap as fuck. That um, <laughs> the plastic. It looks flimsy, doesn't it? Looks so bad. It does. Um, and I don't have much confidence in Australis knowing what single eyeshadow shades will sell. Yeah, I I relate to you on that. Yeah, yeah and I and feel you. I feel like if someone's going to do this and to shake up the market, um, they've got to be on the pulse with shades that people want to buy. What's current? An example that we have here is a silver, and who the fuck buys silvers? It's a bit bland, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if they had brought out, like, a collection of duochromes, warm and and cool mattes. beautiful, yeah, beautiful burnt oranges and reds and nice metallics for over the lid. Like, they, oh, I'd be out there fucking... Fuck the low buy. Yeah. <laughs> this is one item, yeah. <laughs> one collection. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good God. Good God. All right. So as of now that we can, that we're looking, um, on the Priceline website, there are three shades of these eyeshadows, one silver, one matte gray, and one bronze shimmer. Oh, Called, there's moss, granite, and smoky haze. I take back everything nice I said. That's yeah. bullshit. Not only are those shades <laughs> crap shades, but how do you... Why do you have a big palette to fit three single eyeshadows? What are you doing? Oh, I... Okay, I expect them to expand on the range, yeah. obviously. Um, but to release three... But this might be a delay with... The What's website. going up on Priceline, yeah. yeah. And uh, as of filming as well, they don't have anything on their actual website, the Australis website, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, well. They're not okay. shaking up no industry yet. <laughs> no. It sounds like they're getting rid of old stock. Uh, yeah, it look, looks like they're shitting on the industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Gosh. Um, Aussies and other people, I'll let you know who you are soon, uh, Beauty Bakery is coming to Sephora. Yeah. That's pretty... Um, I'm down. So, Sephora, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia, Philippines, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Thailand, and Indonesia uh, will be seeing Beauty Bakery soon. products soon. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, you were able to buy Beauty Bakery on international websites. Yeah. So, we always had access to them, but I think... Um, when it comes to brands that you don't, you're not very familiar with, mm. especially brands that don't have like a crazy raved product. Yes. Um, you'd prefer to see them in store. Yeah. And I, I get that. It's one of those brands, you know, we see their stuff and we're potentially interested, but sometimes you're like, do I really want to take the risk on this one? Yeah. I want to go swatch it. Yeah. I want to know, smell I, it. I wanna I know it. how it feels. So. Yeah. I'm really excited to be able to go into a Sephora store and stick my fingers in those dirty testers. And, <laughs> and then be like, can I buy that? And they're like, out of stock. And they're like, fine, yeah. I'll order it online. Fuck yes. you. But at least I've got to see it. That's, That's how 100% it correct. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Some big news from Becca. Yeah. So move over Jaclyn Hill and Champagne Pop. I know. Soles. Um, but Becca have showed a new collab. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to be really ignorant and say I'm not very familiar with this person. No, neither am I. And I'm scared I'm going to say her name wrong. Is it Sananas? Sananas? It's like bananas with an S. <laughs> I'm not familiar with her, but no, she's very beautiful. She is. And she has helped create a very beautiful highlighter. My so goodness. All right. So this one is called Parisian Lights. It's got the Eiffel Tower and little sparkly stars. These still might be It's heart. beautiful. <laughs> and I'm going to say this, for me, shits all over Champagne Pop. 100%. Champagne 100%. Pop was a champagne highlighter that that you could dupe many times over. Yeah. I'm sure you can dupe this many times over as well, but it's a beautiful soft pink with a um, gold reflect. Yeah. Which is gorgeous. I think this is stunning. Um, I, I want this. I, yeah. And look, I, I don't want many Becca highlighters, but this... Mm-hmm. And it looks so beautiful on. It's it's What I think is smart about this, um, and I know that what they try to do with their collabs, which I understand 100%, is that they try to create shades that are quite universal. So um, the theory is from the fairest to the fair to the deepest to the deep. That's what um, sort of Jaclyn Hill wanted to do with her uh, champagne pop. Now, I think that that is... It works to some degree, Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, champagne pop is very, very, very warm and looked very... uh, too warm for a lot of skin tones. Whereas what I like about this is it's got the soft pink, which is a lot more natural to most skin tones. But then it's got the gold-ish shift. So it has that beautiful little bit of pop. um, But I think it should work on most most people. people. Being a pink shade with a gold to sort of... It's almost got like an apricot-ish tone to it. So you've got cool and warm. So it's likely to work on, you know, any skin type or any undertone, mm-hmm. whether you're cool or warm. Um, and, I mean, it doesn't look like it's ashy. So this could potentially work yeah. for a lot of people. I agree. I think it looks really pretty. And I think on her face as well, um, you can see that it doesn't look as... Like, it looks like it's there and it looks really beautiful, but, but it looks it's softer not, yeah. than that really... Like, I'm not even wearing highlighter. No, I am wearing a little bit of highlighter today. Project Pan highlighter. Um, <laughs> damn it. But, um, you know, I'm not really into that really reflective, crazy yeah, highlighter I've these days. I've moved on from that as and, well. Yeah, I'd much prefer something softer that looks like it's part of my skin, yeah. but I magical skin. If something's not super reflective, you're also not running the risk of it accentu- accentuating um, bad texture issues. Yeah. So, I'm... Look... I'm, I'm keen for this. I don't know who she is, but girl, like you're speaking my language. Yeah, so soft romantic pink uh, infused with golden pearl. I'm down for it. Oh, beautiful. I'm down for it. We've got something new from Burberry here. These are the Fresh Glow Gel Sticks. These are coming in 14 shades and they'll be 48 US dollars each. 
Uh, they're infused with moisturising agents and they provide a flawless medium to high coverage, um, weightless and long lasting wear. It's a gel to cream formula, which is interesting. Mm. I'm like I'm not I'm not hating this. Yeah, uh, forty eight dollars is not cheap, but it is Burberry. So what do it you is. expect? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I like the idea of a full coverage, but weightless and hydrating product. Yeah. Um, because often full coverage can look quite bad when people when it start look, starts looking dry and cakey. Um, so this it's interesting. I know it's got potential. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm keen to see what people think of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Certify are bringing out a lip product as well. They sneak peek this, and we really know nothing about it. Hundred Shades of Red. Oh yeah, Hundred Shades of Red. Mm-hmm. But um, we'll let you know more about that when we know more. Correct. Charlotte Tilbury is releasing some new lip liner shades, um, adding to her luxury lip liner collection. And this is a kit. It is a kit. Seventy-two dollars for a five lip liners and then it looks like there's also three new lipsticks and i believe you can buy it in, in a, a pack. pack so you can buy a pack of new lipsticks pack of new uh lip liners or yep. you can buy them individually, individually I yes think. yeah all right we've got a new thing from ColourPop. they never fail to release a lot of stuff <laughs> and last minute yeah uh, so just before valentine's day they have decided to release a Moonlight Magic Collection. So this releases on the 8th. So by the time you're watching this, it's just released. It's just released. Um, So 10 a.m. Pacific Pacific Standard Time. There are two new Super Shock Cheeks. Mm -hmm. There's five new Supernova eyeshadows, three new Ultra Glossy Lips, and one new Six Pan Palette. So these are all very kind of uh, soft, blushy, like sparkly, um, sort of romantic feel uh we've got some swatches of the super shock shadows supernovas Um, supernovas i can see this brain doesn't doesn't work here today um hard one (laughs) supernova shadows and these uh some of them are duochrome and really beautiful yeah i'm okay i'm sad about this i'm not gonna lie because some of these colors speak to me and I want to play with them, but I don't like I don't the like supernova the formula. formula. Yeah, I'm the same. It's not for me. But these are, you can see that these have like a soft sort of, even though there are different colors here, there's an overall sort of soft, romantic, almost floral yeah. kind of feel. Um, at the moment, these are the only swatches we have, but if we have more photos, which we will, um, I'm sure. by the time this goes up, I'll put more photos in of the products individually. Estee Lauder have a new skincare item. This is the Perfectionist Pro Rapid Firm Lift Treatment. It's available now, $75. US dollars. Um, and it's basically, <laughs> they're calling it Botox in a jar. Um, it, it's, that annoys me when brands yeah, do that. I know. Um, and I feel like this is a little bit far-fetched, but basically some of the ingredients in there um, claim to have the unique ability to relax facial muscles and may reduce the look of wrinkles by 30 percent over a 30-day period can i just say that there are skincare and injectables are very different things yeah. for one main reason skincare if it penetrates the skin it's only to the deeper levels of the skin it never penetrates down to the to muscle, the muscle. Layer, layer yeah. and if it did that then you'd be in a lot of trouble because you'd be getting um skincare ingredients and chemicals in your bloodstream and it would not be good so any makeup fragrances skincare anything does not penetrate beyond the the, the layers of the skin um when it comes to injectables that goes into the muscles so you have to they inject the muscles to relax the muscles there is no way a cream can have the same effects or any effect on muscles because it doesn't penetrate that deep into the skin it doesn't make any sense it's a load of bullshit and they're just pretty much trying to sell you promises in a jar yeah for 75 75 us US dollars no don't don't fall for it it might you know it might be nice on the skin yeah it could very well make your skin look beautiful but but don't get rid of these things it's not gonna yeah that's what annoyed me about yeah. this product i was just like you're reaching 
it's not even reaching. It's lies. It's, yeah, it's lies. And that's why it's like they put the magic word may. May. AKA may. won't. Next up, we have a little collaboration. This is a four piece brush set with furless and it's likely makeup. Is uh, it's likely makeup Hitler? Why? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that brush. It does. <laughs> It's got a little it, Hitler it's mustache. It's got a little... Uh, it's got, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit... Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but, you know, if um, if you like It's Likely Makeup and you like furless brushes, there's a little set there that you might be interested in. Okay. Yeah. These are new lip glosses from Givenchy. Mm-hmm. Um, they're called the Gloss Interdit Vinyl. Said that like a champion. <laughs> um, and Said it with a lot of conviction. Well oh, yeah. Done. oh, yeah. So there's pinks, reds, nudes, purples, clear, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? What I want to point out is the applicator. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's a G spot if I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, wow. I know. I, that's I just kind of cool. I think it's sick. Look how they've like stamped it on her finger oh, as wow. well. Oh, wow. That's rad. I really love it. I, I don't know why I live for that, but I do. I honestly, this this gives me so much joy. It does. I'm it just doesn't. like, I want to buy one of these lip glosses so I can like pull the wand out, wash it, and then just like. Stamp it in products <laughs> constantly. <laughs> I'm down for a glossy lip these days. Yes. My only thing is I don't like coloured bright glosses. Yeah. I kind of like the clear. I kind of like a gangster nude. Yes, I like gangster nude too. Yeah, and um, so I, you can't really get good stampage with those. No, you can't. Here's a clear G stamp. <laughs> Put oh. one here. they got to get oh, close yeah. enough to see it. Yeah. And your hair just gets stuck in it oh, constantly. I can't wait. It's done. Yes. I'm low bike. Get out the way. <laughs> yeah. I want to um, stamp my head with G's. Yeah. There are some nice shades in mm-hmm. there. Uh, but I will point out that these all do look like they may have some shimmer in them as well. Yeah. And not just be glossy. So that's something to... Um, keep like, in mind. Yeah, the only one that doesn't look like it is that sort of clear one. Yes. Um, we've got a new product here. From... I want it. Yeah, so do I. I fucking want it. <laughs> Just you wait. You're I gonna, want it. You're going to want to eat it in a I minute. I know, I do. I really want to eat it. I saw it in the group <laughs> and I was like, give it to me now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I want This it. is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. Oh, it looks so delicious. Oh, isn't it fantastic? <sighs> Everything about this is just like... <laughs> Take you, my money. Yeah, like I want to hold it in my arms. Yeah. Uh, a lightweight daily moisturizer formulated with no less than 90% of pure antioxidant packed watermelon. I huh. love watermelon so and watermelon scented stuff. I yeah. want it. I want it all over me. This one is so exciting. Um, so it's meant to be plumping um, with the hyaluronic acid. And it has soothing botanicals as well. It's, it's oil oil oily to combo skin, yes. which is my skin type. It I'm is. buying you. Where do I get you? I Glow know. recipe. We give can, it to me. We can buy it online. I believe it's Korean brand. Um, I want it. So yeah, it's just oh, watermelon glow pink juice. Oh, <laughs> give it to me. I don't know. There's a few things that are coming out where I'm like, I have not seen this before. Yeah. And I really want you. I want you in my life. And this is definitely one of them. This is, I'm... The I'm, G-spot, the yeah. watermelon juice. <laughs> Just give it to me. The frozen uh, vanilla Coke. Oh, yes. Well done, McDonald's. Mm. Jeez, we love you at the moment. Mm-hmm. All right, more skincare. This is absurd. <laughs> this is a Guerlain Orchidy Imperial Eye and Lip Contour Cream. Jesus Sit down. Christ. I know. It is two hundred US dollars for fifteen mil. Um, and I this this description annoys me as well. During the day, it hydrates, smooths, and enhances the eye area. At night, the cream detoxifies, 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 <laughs> uh, soothes, and targets small white spots around the eyes. I just think it is amazing that a product. Can do different things during the day and night. It knows what time it is. It knows is. what time it's it like, is. It's like, all right, I've clocked on at work. I've got to do X. 
No, it's bullshit. <laughs> it is bullshit. It's full of shit. However, I will say I do really like the packaging of this. I think it's beautiful, but it's too expensive it for is. me. It is. We have a palette here from Hot Topic. This is the Nickelodeon eyeshadow palette, mm -hmm. and it's been making the rounds. It has been making the rounds. Yeah. And I'm going to say, if you, this is an example of, and we're getting to a bad example, this is a good example of a collaboration with a kind of theme or yep. a TV show or a network or whatever and actually making it good. I love that it looks like an old cassette. Love if it, you, yep. um, If you grew up in like the 90s and stuff, especially cassettes for kids that were like had stories and stuff, they were always like this bright orange sort of colour. Yeah. They're really chunky. Um, and it's Nickelodeon themed, which is fab. And it's good Nickelodeon stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, it's not... got, you know, Hey Arnold, it's got Rugrats, yep. it's got Ren and Stim Stimpy. Like it's it's a good... They've got um, Rocco's Modern Life. They've got some really cool stuff in here. Cat Dog. I fucking loved Cat, Cat Dog. Dog. So um, I love the... Even the kind of squiggly um, design of the mirror really suits it the Nickelodeon sense. kind of slime. Because they had the splat. Yeah. yeah. Um, the colours don't wow me, but at the same time, you can kind of forgive it because it looks very cartoon. It's got that Nickelodeon orange. It's got like the slime pans. At the same time, it does have some wearable colours. I think it's a super, super fun palette. And I get why a lot of people were hyping this up. I get why this like hits a lot of people's nostalgia kind of points. Yep. Um, and it's not even done in a really half-assed way. It's done in a, you know we're what this is. We're doing our best. Yeah, yeah, this is a Nickelodeon tribute and we've taken it all the way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'd love to have this in my collection just for collector's purposes. Yeah. Um, but it did sell out very it's quickly. It's interesting. There was another one. I didn't include it in here because it's actually an old palette. It's been out for a long time. It was Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Hot Topic did it as well. I'm pretty sure. I'm wondering if Hot Topic are trying to actually make a name for themselves in the beauty world. Rather than just like... Well, Hot Topic were always known... Like, we don't have Hot Topic in Australia. No. But from what I recall, wasn't it always like the emo brand where you'd always get like um, uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas well, printed stuff? Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Is that where you used to get Jeffree Star clothes when he was a musician? Possibly. Having them take on, um, I don't know, references to that kind of subculture's youth mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I think um, I think what happened was they must have just fluked this one. Yeah, maybe. I think they just fluked it because from what I've seen, none of their makeup really hits the mainstream um, beauty community. Yeah. Um, but I think this one just did something a little bit different that, that got a lot of people's attention. Yeah, it really so, inspired yeah. people, got them excited. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Speaking of Jeffree Star, um, he replied to a tweet, and the tweet was, since we're all here now, are there any recommendations for a very pigmented matte yellow eyeshadow? And Jeffree replied, wait until my summer palette drops. <sighs> so, there 15 we go. shades of nude, and then... <laughs> yellow. <laughs> seven shades of yellow. Um, I do want to point out, though, um, so a few people were unsure of why we were disappointed about that palette, and... Um, I was watching Makeup Struggles' video where she redesigns palettes and she redesigned the Jeffree Star uh, Blood Sugar palette and I'll put a photo on the screen of what she um, redesigned it as being and I 100% agree with her. I thought, like, and, and this is where, and she's, I think in that palette she's got three nude shades and all the rest are beautiful um, pinks and shimmery, shimmery reds and purples and really kind of amped up that sort of palette and i think that's why i was disappointed in the palette yeah. as well it was the 10 shades of nude that i'm like we don't need yeah you only need three of them or less you yeah. don't need many um and he yeah missed out on some of the beautiful uh, opportunities for really beautiful you know jewel toned reds shimmers yeah. and anyway so yeah, yeah. i just um, felt like that palette was it wasn't what i was expecting i was expecting more red and more plays on red and, yeah, and more was, things that can go with red than just yeah. champagne. 
Um, something from Kiehl's. This is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate. Yeah, I'm totally pumped for this because I love this product. So it's been reformulated right. um, to also include hyaluronic acid. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if they've put more vitamin C in it, possibly. I don't remember what the last percentage was. Um, but this is a really nice serum that does have vitamin C in it, so it does brighten. Um, I, I love this I love this product, so I'm really happy to see that they've um, ramped it up even more. But yeah, it's got now has hyaluronic acid in it. Excellent. All right, this is an update, but I want to mention it anyway. Um, this is the KKW Fragrance um, Kimoji Hearts fragrances that came out. They're already out. They're already sold out. They will come back. Don't worry. But I wanted to touch on it because um, we were saying when the kind of crystal gardenia ones, whatever they were, came out, we're like, ugh, gardenia, not my cup of tea. But these look really nice. Um, these are more sort of sweet, uh, fruity scents rather than sort of more sophisticated florals. Um, but I kind of like that. So, for example, BFF has wild berries, pink currant, star apple, you know, rose petals, jasmine, pear blossom, cedarwood, marshmallow, vanilla, accord, musk. Like, it just seems like it's a lot more fun. Yeah. Um, and the other ones like bergamot, juicy mandarin, kiwi flower, like they're just, they sound really they do. fun they and really nice. fresh. Um, and I, I, you know, juicy purple plum, uh, raspberry nectar, vanilla creme, like it just sounds really nice. Oh, like tonka bean. Yeah, they sound, fucking love tonka they bean. They sound so nice. And yeah, if they anything do. is tempting me to buy something from KKW Fragrance, it's these. these. Well, I after, really want to try like, them. I, you know, when I first saw these, I was like, what's going on like to see her bring out those beautiful crystal gardenia like that packaging my god and then these i was just like the world's apart they're, yeah like i don't i don't see the connect but obviously she is looking to do really different things with her fragrance line mm -hmm. which i commend her for and after seeing the notes in these i want to try them I'm pretty, yeah, I reckon one day she will get some more money for her perfumes. Oh, wait, they won't ship to Australia, I think they? they used to, and then they got in trouble for it. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Don't ship them by air. You've got to ship them by boats. Just sell them in store. I know. Just come on. All right, we've got a new release from Kylie Jenner. Also, she had a baby. Oh, my God. Congratulations. That was... Anyway, I didn't even know she was pregnant. <laughs> no, but you know, all, there was all those rumors. Yeah, there was heaps of rumors. There was, and that's she did right. like photo shoots. She did a photo shoot. Covering her stomach. Yeah. yeah, she was pregnant, and she had her baby on the first of Feb. Wow. Yeah, she hid that well. Good yeah, I'm, I'm, pr I'm, I'm kind of proud that she hid it. Like there were rumors, yeah. but she hid it like like anyway. a fucking gun. She did. Well, on her, do her you thing. do you? Yeah, um, absolutely. But she's also bringing out a lip trio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is for Valentine's Day, and it's already available. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the Posy K Anniversary Trio. So Posy K is a shade of her matte liquid lipstick that um, was very popular, mm -hmm. and so now they're doing a trio with love hearts and stuff for Valentine's Day. But you get a matte version, a glossy version, and a velvet version, which I think is. Too much Posey K. Yes, not for me, but um, see, I'd want a velvet, it's fine. and that's it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. If you, if you really like Posey, Posey K, K, you can have them in, covered. in different in different formulas. Yeah. All right, we've got another photo. Or we've got a photo from Kat Von D, and I don't know if this is actually something to talk about or not, but you know, we overanalyze stuff we here. We do. Uh, so Kat Von D Beauty posted a photo. It says, "Here's a sneak peek of our last." Metal Crush highlighter shoot from earlier this month. Um, now, it doesn't seem on the surface, and a lot of accounts didn't repost this or give a shit about it. Um, but I looked at the makeup, mm. and even though there is a pink and there's that kind of yellowy color, the Metal Crush highlighter palette that they brought out doesn't have a blue. No. Um, it's got a color that kind of shifts, I think, a little bit greenish, mm -hmm. but not blue. And I think they wouldn't say a sneak peek from a, a, a shoot, photo shoot. That, of a palette that's already come out. Yeah. What this may be is for the individual shades. 
Oh, yes. Because that one that's right under her eye, that goldy color, yeah. that looks like the individual. Thunderstruck. Yeah. I've got that one. It does look very similar but to that. But you know how they turn it into the highlighter? Yes. And they've yeah. been, they were showing it ages ago? Yeah. I think she's bringing out a few shades. Yeah. And I think this is it a sneak peek sense. of it. Uh, Laura Geller is bringing out <laughs> a giant um, gelato swirl. Illuminator, illuminator. In, in pixie pearl yeah um i don't know anyone that's used up one of these they are pretty small i am yeah, they i'm are. not gonna lie in they're, real life they're just they're, like they're pretty small they're small but so i don't mind this move i reckon they should have just like this is 10 grams very different from their like three grams or I know. four grams that but 10 grams you're looking at the size of a standard uh face powder yeah. so you know about it's, that a, big. it's a big baby they're gonna be 36 us dollars cool uh, okay, this is an interesting thing. So, mm -hmm. um, we talked about last week how disappointed we were that uh, Lime Crime were sneak peeking. They were sneak peeking something for Valentine's Day that was coming out on the 1st of Feb, and there was like so many sneak peeks for it, so much build up, and then all of a sudden it was a three brush set and a three liquid, liquid lipstick, lipstick pack, set. and we're like, what? And we originally predicted that it was going to be a new Venus palette. We went, we went wrong. Yeah. It just isn't releasing on the 1st of February. Yeah. Um, so this was sneak peeked by Trend Mood or Trend Mood regrammed it from someone else, but it was taken down quick smart. Right. So um, I didn't regram this because we, don't want we, to got, get we got threatened to be sued from Fenty last last month. We don't want to be threatened no. to be sued from Lime Crime this month. So, um, But this is... Uh, Venus XL, XL. palette, yeah. so it's much larger than the other one. I think the, the other one had... I think they're ten shades each. Five on the top, or five on eight. the bottom. You're right, they're only eight. Yeah, I knew they were pretty yeah. small. All right, this is now an 18-pan palette, so when they talk about about XL, uh, yeah, they've uh, added ten shades. <laughs> they are. Um, now, this is sort of what we... So I get the sort of... If this was coming out around Valentine's Day, which it's not quite. Probably could have be coming out later in the month. Um, this is very... It's very on trend. Yeah. So this is a warm tone palette, but it's leaning more to the pinks and the peaches that were sort of popular, made popular from Modern Renaissance and like Sweet Peach palette and all that kind of stuff. But instead of... Jump. Okay, so I see that the Modern Renaissance sparked a big trend of warm eyeshadows. Some brands took that and went orange. Some brands took that and went reds and oranges and yellows. And then some brands have recently started taking that and have gone pink. And that's sort of where I see this is. It's sort of like another um, direction of warm eyeshadow palettes that haven't been so done to death that it's obnoxious. But um, at the same time, it's not super inventive. No, I don't think I so. I really like that flora shade. So do though, I. I really coral. like that. I have no... I, I don't have any, like... I'm not confident in it. That mm. flora shade. I, I Neon eyeshadows are difficult. They are, but I think it works well with these other shades. And yeah, what I, do, I think so. What I, I just, I don't think the formula is going to be... I haven't tried the yeah. formula, so I, I, can't, I can't comment. But um, I do think that what is smart about this, it's like a warm, sort of colourful eyeshadow palette, but it's not... It's kind of cool at the same time. So you've got some cool pinks, you've yeah. got some cool purples in there, you've got some, like, mauves, you've got a really dark... Um, sort of wine shade so this won't look like the eyeshadow that i've got on my no. eyes today it will look a lot more smoky and romantic yep. which i think is a nice change or a nice direction to go into from that warm eyeshadow trend a lot of people that like i hate oranges and i hate bright reds um this is sort of what a lot of people might come around yep. to well pinks are notoriously considered cool tone yes. and it does depend on what sort of pink it is they yep. can look very warm but i think this is going to look fairly um cool on the face but then there's some deeper shades in there that will um, sort of bring it back and make it look a bit like it's got a bit of richness and depth yep. to it yeah which will make you feel like there's warmth in there so 
Look, I don't hate it. Um, I just... Uh, yeah. I'm not really inspired by it. That's all. I don't hate it. And I actually would say that if I was placing a Lime Crime order, I would consider buying it. I yeah. don't have the other two Venus palettes, so I'm not too sure of the quality. But I've heard reasonably nice things about it. But what I like about this is um, it is different to what I've got. And I think this would be perfect for winter. Yeah. It's a nice injection of colour. Um, it's got a nice range of finishes. I don't like the order that it's in. I kind of would love to see it reorganised well. Yeah. So I have a better idea of do I need 14 dark modes? <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I kind of feel like brands often jumble it up so you can't see that there are so many similar shades yeah. in there. And I feel that with this a little bit. Um, but I think it's got potential and I think this is what a lot of people have been wanting when they're screaming, I want some fun, cool toned eyeshadow palettes. Cause even though this is taken from the warm sort of trend, it's put a cooler twist on it because yeah. a lot of it, the, like there are some warm shades in here, but there's equally just as many cool shades Yeah, and it depends how you wear it, whether you get a warm look or a cool look. And I think it's it's interesting, and it, it's very um, it's very lime crime, hundred percent, very lime crime. Yeah, the swatches kind of look all same same. Yes, so that is the bit. Yeah, I don't know when this is coming out. We only got screenshots from the group, and this shortly after was deleted, so um, we didn't get all the information from it. Uh, we didn't even get to get nice photos that don't have the little like. Um, tag yeah in the, the, in the corner tag. Yeah, um, yeah. but you know it is it is what it is yeah all right manic panic um they were hyping something up and i was quite excited i was so excited i know this is the time warp collection and um this is clearly it's a valentine's day release and it's in a collaboration with the rocky horror picture show or it's like an inspiration from it i'm not too sure yeah um but I love the Rocky Horror Picture oh Show. God, I am so good. such a huge fan. So I was kind of really keen on this. And then I saw it and I was like, eh. So this, and I, we were discussing this before, and I feel like um, it. I would love to get more information from behind the scenes of why brands do what they do. So what this is, is it's like a coffin-shaped box, and you get a few products in it. So all of them have goth white um, this foundation sort of pot. Um, they come with like a lip pencil, lashes, a lip gloss, uh, lip dust, uh, different things for different packs and different shades. Um, and what this just is, it's a pack for $44.99. So it's not cheap. And it's just a collection so that you can sort of recreate the look. Mm. of the character. So they've got one for Magenta, they've got one from for Frankenfurt, and they've got one for Columbia. Now, for me, that is... Mm, I'm going to say what I said to Kat before. Great for Halloween. Yep. But this not is good not... good for Valentine's This is Day. not inspiring. Yeah. This is not... It's a box of... It's repackaged stuff. Yeah. With no limited edition yeah. packaging... Um, it's not even a nod, to, like it's not a wearable everyday nod to the, um, no. like when Mac brought out the, the, um, Frankenfurter range, I like, I've got this beautiful dark lipstick. I've got a contour kind of powder. Um, I've got a eye pigment. Um, when picture polish did a range, I bought like yeah. a bunch of their nail polishes. So I'm a big fan of Rocky Horror. And if you've done, like if you've got a good collection, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Um, but this, for me, it's like you're buying what looks like cheap stage makeup to recreate a look of a character for Halloween. Yeah. But for Valentine's Day? Like, it doesn't make sense. If you kind of wear this makeup every day, cool, but you'd already have it. That's that's my feeling about this as well. Yeah. Because no, if, no shade on people that no, want to wear the white makeup no, all every day, not. but you would already have it. If you are a fan of Manic Panic makeup, mm -hmm. um, I haven't tried their makeup. I've tried their hair products. Fuck me. They are amazing. So yep. I can imagine they have quite a big market um, for people who buy their makeup. But I feel like if you wanted to wear these things, you would already own them. Yeah. And... When you're using something like Rocky Horror Picture Show, you're reaching out to a market that you potentially have never reached out to before. Like, like me. 
well, I mean, and me as well. Yeah. Like, this is a, a point where I w- would potentially go, holy fucking shit balls, they're reading out a Rocky Horror Show collection I want mm-hmm. in on mm-hmm. this stuff. But this is just repackaged and kind of sad. But it's very Halloween-esque. And I it understand is. that, like, there, there's a lot of people that don't like Halloween and no, don't like valentine's day yeah um and 100%. they you know they want to sort of like take a, like this kind of twist on it i totally get that but at the same time this looks like when we're talking about halloween releases and there was a bunch of brands that did like sort of look leave, in a box yeah look in a box like here's everything you need to be a zombie yeah. for 15 dollars. that's what this reminds me of but it's way overpriced and you've lost me yeah. And whenever anyone says Rocky Horror Picture Show, I'm like, I am I'm in. Yeah. But you've lost me. And this is where I was saying before that at least the Nickelodeon thing was done super well. Yeah. Like, if you liked Nickelodeon, you would be like, I need that palette. Yeah. Whereas I love Rocky Horror more than I love Nickelodeon shows, and I love Nickelodeon shows, and I look at this and I'm like, I don't want it. No. And you, if that's what you've either. done, you're not doing a collab well. Yeah. Honestly... I don't think this is a collab. I think this is potentially just inspired. I agree, but at the same so, so, the same time, it's got trademarked uh, 1975 and 2018 Fox. Oh, what? So yeah, down the bottom. It does too. So it is, it is a it is a collab, but I think this is where I think um, brands sort of cheap out a little bit and they buy the rights for certain things. So like we'll use. The name, yeah, but we can't use the imagery on the packaging, and but we can use the imagery for marketing purposes. Like it's, I think when it comes to brand deals, when it, when they're buying um, the rights to use certain images, I think some brands cheap out when yeah, we've experienced this yeah. before, like with the cargo and, and Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, yeah, it's like you choose, and even like um, there were. The sort of merchandise for Mean Girls, and they had like oh, random yes. sayings on, on makeup bags, yeah. and you're like, I don't link that with Mean that, Girls. That was the cheap, the cheap saying that you they, could yeah, afford to, to buy. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. and yeah. it's like save your money, and either and then you look and at save up for the good stuff. You look at collaborations. See, if you're thinking, oh, you're being too harsh about this um, with Manic Panic, look at it this way. This is how I look at it. I look at the Besame Snow White collection Mm -hmm. and I look at this and I go, they are worlds apart. Yeah. The Snow White collection was not only inspired by, but inspiring other people to create looks using the color palette of the original cartoon. Yeah. So it is just like, it is Snow White through and through. Yeah. This is... It's like riding the coattails of a, of a well-known yeah. property. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Um, all Maybelline. Right. Maybelline is bringing out a new palette. It is a spring-summer. It is a sneak peek, and this is all we've got so far. Yeah, so you can see that they are getting there very slowly with the warm makeup trend. Yeah. They've got a yellow in there. They've got a red kind of colour, a peach. And a bunch of neutrals, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. All right, this is an update. Another Maybelline thing. Um, so this is the swatches of the new Fit Me concealers that were released. Mm-hmm. So um, they released one shade that was lighter than the light- lightest ones out there, and then they released uh, five sort of deeper shades. Deep shades. And cool. you can see there's a nice shade range now. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see the whole range including the original ones swatched all in a row. Yeah, so would I actually. Yeah, but these are just the new ones. And then we also have the new shades of the, what do you call it, Age uh, Rewind Adrian Concealer. Yeah. So once again, they went some lighter and they went some deeper. And there are the shades and they're in the US released. Now, they didn't go quite as deep with the... No, um, they didn't. The Age Rewind. But... I, I do find, though, that I think Fit Me is designed to be uh, sort of more coverage yep. and uh, Age Rewind is supposed to be a little bit more brightening it, yeah. and sheerer. So right, yeah. Well, it, it is a, a dark circle eraser, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so I think just 
I, I don't think it's deep enough, but I think just by the nature of the product, yeah. if you wanted something that had a lot of coverage, you'd go fit me over Adrian Yeah, White. fit me for the spots and Adrian Wine for under the eyes, yeah. brightening. Um, okay, Morphe are uh, apparently releasing a new palette soon. This is a sneak peek of the 9C. I don't hate it. I think that fucking fool's gold shade is divine. I also think the combo of like Stone Fox and Rich Girl's really beautiful. Yeah. Purple Rain's really pretty. Um, I think at least I can see some differences in this palette. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, do you like that meme? Um, the Connect Four meme. I saw that. Hilarious. It was great. Yeah. 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 But it looks like they didn't quite do that for this palette. Which no. I no. And the price is right. Twelve bucks. You Can't know. Complain. Stick to nine pen palettes. Yeah, Morphe. I think it's a good idea. Well. You do it well. Um, all right, I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm just going to read you the information that I have. It looks like NARS has reformulated some of their um, like face powder products. So Albatross, Capri, Fort de France, Ibiza, Maldives, and St. Barton's. Or, so, sorry, St. Barth's. Is that right? St. Barth's? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, apparently, they've been reformulated. Ah, interesting. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and then there are some of the Spring Summer 2018 blushes, um, which I think we have talked about yeah, we have, in yeah. the past. Yeah. Uh, another thing from NARS, we've seen a sneak peek of from the coming out in their spring collection as well. We talked about one of these mm -hmm. previously. So um, they've got like a cheek palette. And we talked about the light one that has sort of, I think it does have albatross in it. It's got some sort of soft shades, but there is also a deeper skin one. So yeah. a bright orange, a bright pink, a bright yellow. Um, so if you did want, yeah, if you wanted a really kind of, I don't know, bright, beautiful, vibrant blush palette yep. for deeper skin. NARS has your back for spring. They look nice. I'm yep. excited about them. Um, this is... Wow. Do you know who this is? Do NARS. you know what brand this is? It looks hideous. It is NARS. This it is really a... Bad. Are, a lip... <laughs> Are they serious? I think they might be. This looks like Avon or something. This looks like it should be an April Fool's joke. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it should... maybe it's really early. Maybe. This is the lip powder and lip gloss palette. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Fuck no. No. Um, they also have a loose powder NARS Orgasm Blush, which is another not today oh, product for me. I think they just need to let orgasm go. I think they that just was cool need, ten years ago. Yeah, I think they need to keep it in their range as like OG, but I don't Stop think you need to stop trying to re, re like, reinventing the wheel. We don't need it in a liquid lipstick and a glossy lipstick and a metallic lipstick and a fucking bullet loose lipstick pigment and a bullet lipstick and, and a, a fucking m multiple and a cream wow. and a liquid and a fuck me dead. Here it is in a mascara and a fucking <laughs> eyeliner. And here is the what? the shade orgasm in a foundation. Oh, let me jizz on your face with the orgasm. God, no, thank you, stop. Mr. Nas. That is enough. It we is are enough. tired of it. Yeah. So anyway, this is a hard pass. Hard pass. I'm glad I'm on a low buy because that could be my excuse. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Nas. <laughs> Cannot buy. Cannot buy that. I'm on a low buy. <laughs> All right. So we've got something from Pat McGrath. Yep. Or Pat McGrath, whatever you want to call it. Um, 6th of Feb, so it's already come out. Uh, there are two, I believe, two new lipsticks that are coming out in limited edition Valentine's Day um, red packaging. Mm -hmm. So I don't... They said that they're award-winning blue-based red lipstick in Elson. So I don't know if it's actually one of their permanent shades. Right. Uh, I didn't look into it, but um, probably is. Uh, but yeah, coming in a red packaging and also... Um, Omi, which is a mesmerizing mid-toned rose. Right. So a pinky kind of nude and a red in red packaging if you want it to be extra for Valentine's Day. Yeah. All right. Then we've got Pretty Zombie Cosmetics uh, who released a new liquid lipstick shade. I actually have... I bought some of the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics lipsticks back in the day when they had a few shades. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, oh, cool. so this has come out, I believe. Yeah. 
and it is called Recently Deceased. Ah! Oh. Which is awesome. And it's got Yay. like stripes on it. My favourite! So, oh my god! Yeah, I how cool it. is it? Great reference. So, uh, liquid lipstick, it's, it's like a green metallic with a gold kind of shimmer in it. Um, and it's got like Beetlejuice stripes on it. Oh, it's I love cool. this. I think it's rad. This is fantastic. I, I'm a little bit sad it's in a colour that I would never wear. Um, you wear it as an eyeshadow though? Maybe. Maybe. Does it do dry down completely? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh. oh, I do love me some Beetlejuice. I love me some Beetlejuice too. Um, okay, Revlon has some new lipsticks that have launched. These are the Super Lustrous Live Boldly Lipsticks. That's a big name for a little or lipstick. Or is it Live Boldly? Oh, no, it's Live. <laughs> I'm bold and alive. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, anyway, yeah. there's six shades, $8.49. Looks like they're um, online exclusive at Ulta at the moment. All right, then we've got some interesting... This is interesting. This is interesting. I know. When I, I saw had to this, include this. Yeah, when yeah. I saw this, I was like, I'm surprised people haven't done this earlier. I know. So I, I'm, I'm like, feeling good on, on this one. And, you know, there's probably going to be people going, indie brands have been doing it for 25 years. <laughs> All right, cool. But anyway, Sally Hansen have brought out uh, 3D designs. Yeah. Um, and this one that's shown is the knit. So uh, what you do is you... They're like nail wraps mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, but you paint your nails, you put on this transparent nail wrap type textured thing, mm -hmm. uh, file it down and then paint over again. And it sort of looks like you've done raised textured nail art. Yeah. And I think it's really cute. It's kind of cool. It's like when you get the um, acrylic 3D nail art done. Yeah. Uh, but it's like DIY. Do it at home. And I like know? the reference as well. Like I really like these sort of knit uh, jumper sort of yep. designs. I think it looks, it's fun for winter. I, Very, I don't know. Yeah, I think no, it's I agree nice. with you. I Look, this is kind of something I would like to try out. Yeah, I agree. Um. If we get these in Australia and I see We'll it, get I'm them. Not... Sally yeah. Hansen always brings Sally out Hansen is good. We usually get everything. It takes a little while, but you know. Um I don't hate it. I think it's you know, we're not <laughs> I suck at nail art. Yeah. I'm the worst. But that doesn't mean I don't want to be able to do, try and do it myself. All right, um, sports girl. Yeah. So they've brought out some new sort of glow skincare type products yeah this is out it is i did out. see this at sports girl the other day so they brought out a glow illuminating cleansing oil an illuminating mist an illuminating serum primer and illuminating mask now i want to point this out because this is obvious uh you don't need glitter or shimmer in most of these products it makes no difference yeah um Except for maybe an illuminating mist and maybe an illuminating, an illuminating primer. primer. Depending on what you're using over the top. Yeah. Yeah. And these are very, like, they've got a fine sort of uh, shimmer that sort of mixes in and looks really yeah. cool. Uh, these look more shimmery in real life Do than they? they are in the photos. Wow. The, the oil, I was I saw it in the shop and I was I'm like, whoa, that's really, like, shimmery. Um and when I post about this on Instagram, a few people are like, what's the point of having like illuminating stuff in your cleansing oil? And that was my original response. But also at the same time, what's the point of having gl glitter in a mask? <laughs> There's none. It's just gimmick. You peel it off. Yeah. It's just a gimmick. It makes it look prettier. It yeah. makes it more fun to use. Like and the... it puts more plastic in the ocean. Exactly. These are like, I'm not, I don't, I don't like... Um, unnecessary things in skincare products, especially yeah. shit that gets washed down the sink. Um, you know, I wear enough shimmery fucking makeup on my face to be doing my own damage to the environment. Mm -hmm. I don't need to increase it with my skincare as well. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's bullshit. I would not buy this stuff. I also don't like the way this looks like pixie skincare. It it does, but at yeah. the same time, pixie skincare is very basic packaging, it is. and it's just known as being pink and green yes whereas this is pink, pink and, and white. white yeah um 
But one thing I have to commend them on slightly is that nothing is more more than 15 bucks. Yeah. So it's not as if they've put glitter in it and then thought, ha ha, I'm going to charge $30. No. Um, it is very affordable still. Excellent. Uh, Tarte have added some new shades to their Shape Tape foundation ranges. I'm very confused why... I, <sighs> mate, I, I'm if, fucking... Mate! If, <laughs> what confuses me... Okay, good on them for yep. getting there eventually. Good on you. But if they had these almost ready to go, why didn't they delay the launch by a month? Because they, it's not as if they were like, fuck, let's go back to the drawing board and let's mix up a batch now. Because to make shades, new shades, and then uh, create packaging, labels, da 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 Yeah. Um, that they takes a be, long time. That yeah, they takes, have to be close That to takes done. at least a couple of months to do. So yeah. it's not as if they got the backlash and then thought, fuck, let's get some new let's shades in up. there. Yeah, because they wouldn't have been able to hustle no that way. quickly. No they way. would have just been testing the shades on people probably yeah. at this stage. So they clearly had had them in the works. Um, maybe they were hoping to come out with a foundation, get praised to create this amazing foundation that, oh my God, everyone loves and is raving about on the internet. And then the second wave of, look, now we're being heroes, praise us again. Maybe that that's what their plan maybe was. Maybe that is what their plan was. But it backfired. <laughs> yeah. But and it, people yeah. have not been raving about this foundation. No. Neither the... Um, the matte one nor the hydrating one so look it's all just fucking guns blazing and shooting themselves in the foot all over the place yeah. if you ask me but out of 71 reviews it does have three and a half for the matte one and three yeah. for the hydrating one so people aren't being as harsh as I thought they'd be no the the sponge has one review five stars it's from <laughs> buddy tart don't review your own shit <laughs> All right, let's move on to this Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is a primer for all skin types. Um, it's a balm, a balm of pressed silk. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I don't okay. Think it is, guys. Uh, Fifty-two US dollars. It blurs, looks, look a pores, primes, protects, color corrects, and it's supposed to have anti-aging properties. Japanese superfoods. I know. Mm hmm. Or you could, you know, just. Save your $52, go to Japan and eat some of their delicious food. That's true. You'd be happier, I promise you. Yeah. We have a new product uh, from The Ordinary here. This is the Marine Hyaluronics. Uh, it's an ultra lightweight hydration support with marine derived vegan water reservoirs. What? <laughs> Maybe it's just water, water in a bottle. Yeah, it's definitely not water free. We know that much. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you are a fan of The Ordinary, which I know so many people are, mm -hmm. you can get your hands on this. Go, Go do it now. Tom Ford, uh, we've seen a few items from the Spring Summer 18 Runway Color Collection. So, <sighs> I'm not. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I don't really. I. I'm struggling with this. There's a clear eye gloss. Um, For thirty six US dollars. Yeah. Oh fuck me. Uh, a thirty six dollar individual dark, sort of, gunmetal grey. Which looks like asphalt. Yeah. Thank you, sparkly asphalt. And then there's um. A, cream. a shade and illuminate cream palette. But they've got this out as a permanent product. I have no idea what... I don't no, know I'm what out. Tom Ford is I'm doing. Out. I'm moving on. All right, Urban Decay. Uh, this is only news from today. So, yeah, it's very new. Uh, last night, they posted this saying, Hello, hot stuff. Um, they say good things come in small packages. We've got a little fire little... Got a, got a fire little box coming... For you. We've got a fire little box. Alright, cool. So, uh, it, and anyway, everyone predicted it was going to be a new um, Naked Basics palette. So if you're unfamiliar, the Naked palettes have, uh, they're like 12 pans and they've got shimmers and mattes. And then they brought out Naked Basics palettes, which are five mattes, one shimmer. And they're very kind of neutral. They are supposed to go with other palettes. Um, and they brought out... A heat version so 
they're not calling this the naked basics because I think it's not as basic as the other ones. Yep. It is the naked petite heat. So five mattes um, and one demi matte for the highlighter. Um, and I do believe these are all new shades, but they all look very similar to the shades that are in the naked heat. So if right. you've got the naked heat, this is very redundant. Um, what irks me about this is the naked heat in general is very redundant. Um, you create pretty much, if you're lucky, two different looks out of that. Yeah. All the shadows sort of meld in together and create the same look. Um, so having adding this to it adds nothing. You've already got this. Even though they're slightly different shades, they're the same. Um, and also what annoys me about this is that the best shades in the Naked Heat are the shimmer, shimmery shades. And there's none in and this. And there's none in this. I think maybe Inhale might yeah. have like yeah. a satin it's finish. A, it's but... a demi yeah. matte sort of slight shimmer. So yeah, if you wanted just the matte shades from the Naked Heat, you can now sort of buy them in this. Um, I love the packaging. It's fucking beautiful. I don't love the packaging. You don't like it? It looks like a sticker. It does a bit, doesn't it? Like this... the, the other packaging is beautiful and it's got like re like a lot of depth to it. Yeah. This looks like ro like photoshopped roses on fake fire. Yeah. <laughs> stuck onto a palette. It is it's um it does look a bit like a a sticker, like an overlay. Yeah, it does. Which are, it could be who knows but they went from like beautiful packaging to a sticker i find this very bizarre all of their smaller palettes have shitty packaging but they've got the sort of rubberized packaging with the raised uh you know lettering. naked yeah basics lettering yeah so and, that, and that is definitely flat well from the image it is yeah it looks really bad anyway i'm just confused by it this is an update. So the Viseart uh, Trist palette that we talked about um, that is coming, it actually is coming out the 7th of February. Yeah. So when we were talking about that, they had like a 24th of Jan scribbled out. We yeah, weren't really sure when it was coming out. Um, there was a black and white image, but then a sneak peek and it was all kind of, anyway, it was exactly what we predicted. Yeah. There is this sort of like cooler toned, sort of romantic yeah. um, soft pinks soft golds, soft purples um, shimmers and mattes. It's like Naked 3 but with a 2018 twist Yes, yeah. or it is like if you're a makeup artist, this is what you pull out for every bridal 100%. look ever. Yep and it's a cooler toned palette, palette. Mm -hmm. um, YSL have a new perfume and a new blush so it is the mon paris couture perfume um and the collector's palette so it's a fruity fragrance for women uh and it looks like it's going to be the third edition of the mon paris line so there we go there's also the gorgeous pink highlighting powder all right that is done all we done? are done that's probably a bit of a long episode yes what do we have a letter? Excellent. From Austria. Ooh, Yay, from Austria to wow. Australia. Yay. This is from Anna. Here we go. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. All right, so we did receive a letter. This episode is really long, and we have a sh bit of a freaking crazy week going on, and Kat's got to edit this bitch. So we do want to mention that Anna sent us a beautiful letter. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. And she also sent a postcard of her hometown. It looks beautiful. This is Graz. Oh. Did I pronounce that right? I want to go there. I Look know. at the little hill in I the middle. Know. It's so beautiful. I know. And our city is not that beautiful. Oh, our city is great, but not that beautiful. Oh, her and her beautiful dog. The baby. Thank you so That's much. A bug. That's a lovely, Thank lovely letter. Thank you so much. We we keep all of our letters. We're not going to read it out though because we are pressed for time, mm -hmm. and we also have a very quick update on something. Oh my god, <laughs> shit's going down. This is the best. So, we've been sitting here for uh, probably the last half an hour, literally. Is this even on? Yeah, it's yeah, on. Good, good. Like, kind of trying to understand what is happening right this very moment. It's been brought to our attention that... By Lani. Thanks, Lani. <laughs> the, um, 
the <sighs> fuck Brandon, who is the, the guy, be- yeah, the guy behind Decium, which is the guy. The Decium is the umbrella company that does like the ordinary, that does uh, Niod, Hand Chemistry, yeah. all these other brands that they um, sometimes create new brands, sometimes sell brands under the yeah. umbrella. But yeah, he's the creator. So I'm not sure what's going on, but he seems to have taken over their Instagram account, and he did say that. He's um, got rid of the marketing team? Yeah, because there was also a bit of a scare that their Instagram account was trying to be hacked. Um, well, no, it sounded like he originally said that he wanted to take over because he doesn't want a marketing team. Yeah. Because the thing is, Decium was started with great intentions. The Ordinary, mm. for example, um, they don't want to mark up. They don't want to pay for marketing. They don't want to um, inflate prices too much. They want to have really competitive, good quality products um, and show that you don't need to spend. Shush. You be quiet, mothership. We love you, but not right now. <laughs> anyway, so they really tried to shake up the market. They didn't want to charge things like $75 for Botox cream. Um, so they, they, they're they doing really good things. Yeah. But I think the problem with that is... Oh, oh, so he... They've got great ethics. And they, they do. And Brandon that's behind the brand, he's started all this stuff with these great intentions. Yeah. Um, and can I say, we've met him. He seems very genuine about what he's doing as well. He seems like, like a smart dude. He seems passionate about what he's yeah. doing. He's not so, doing it just to rip people off and no, make a lot of money. I, I believe his passion. It's there. Yeah. And it has taken over Instagram. <laughs> so um, his passion as well, I think, because he said in his first little video that um, marketing is designed to sort of make people buy what they don't want or yeah. what they don't need. And that's not what they want to do. So he's decided to take over, like to get rid of the marketing team that looks after their social media and do it himself. Yeah. So, um, and then it's just kind of escalated from there. And he he's posting videos about things that probably shouldn't be shared publicly because like someone trying to hack their Instagram account. Yeah. Um, he talks to people that are on his staff in these videos. Yeah. Like it's a, like it's a, it's almost to like, do. don't forget that at blah, blah, blah o'clock, you've got this appointment. Yeah. It's like he's Janet, doing that. Make sure you post off blah, blah, blah to blah, blah, blah. Hi. Um, we launched a brand called STEM about a year ago. Um, it's not working because um, it was too expensive and we rushed through it. <clears throat> We're going to discontinue it and it's going to come back. Uh, STEM is going to come back as a different thing and not even for hair. Uh, Mira, can you please put it on sale as of tomorrow uh, at 70% off? Uh, so whatever stock we have left, we're going to sell at 70% off and you guys can buy it, obviously. Uh, STEM will come back, but under the ordinary, we're going to be launching a, a serum very soon that's going to promote healthier, thicker and fuller hair very soon. Love you. He's, like, he's doing that publicly. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Something that oh, I'm, I'm concerned. He's, he's posted something. It's just a text image. It says, TJ, forgive me. And uh, he's referencing TJ Isho. And um, they were bringing out a, an Isho collection. Or maybe yeah, it's even already, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we talked about it and months ago. It was, um, and they expanded on the range. It's products for people who've had um, lip injectables. So Dr. Isho is a cosmetic surgeon and specializes in injectables. Yep. And these products were designed to sort of uh, get rid of some of the negative symptoms, also help the injectables last longer, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And this post basically... He's putting it all out there. I just... Yeah, I'm so confused. So Brandon's basically saying like, we're all too busy. The formula was rushed. Everyone hated it. Um, it's now been fixed. Yeah. Um, but it needs to say goodbye because they're too busy to love your brand enough. We have some stock. Um, we'll pay you 100% of the revenues generated instead of the 5% we agreed on until stock runs out. So it's like 
exposing contractual things as yeah, well. this is what concerns oh, me. I will give you all the formulas and the trademark is yours. Um, and then he's referring to people. PK, please support me and TJ on this exit. So it's like, once again, memo to staff. Yeah. But this is going out to hundreds of thousands of people. Our lovely customers who bought Esho and hated it, please, please forgive, forgive me. Forgive me. And those of you who love Esho, please forgive me and love TJ. Jill, who the hell? Or is, is it, it Gil? No, Gil. I, I, mm. It's like, it's, it's, it's ramblings of a person that's lost their mind. Look, it feels it's a so little bit like weird. that. I'm not sh- He's posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven it, like videos of rubbish in a river. And he's talking about eliminating all plastics, including his shopping bags, droppers, foundation bottles, which cost more than glass bottles because they're sophisticated plastic. And then he's referring to people. See, like, this is where he's referring to staff. Please tell our suppliers that plan will be completed by end of 2018. And he's referring to the packaging people. I'm Peter, sorry that we won't I'm be able to use your plastics wrong anymore. Packaging. I'm sorry we won't be able You're to You're such use- a good person. I'll sponsor you and your family to come to Canada and work at Desium. Alan of Ideal Pack, this direction means more business for you. Like, he's, he's, this is not an internal memo. He's just totally giving away trade secrets, which, you know, if he wants to do that, sure. But it's weird. It is weird. He's then talking about um, this guy, his his factory manager, and how he donated five hundred thousand dollars to his family in January. Like, great, but fuck, man, do you want a pat on the back? Like, this is just weird. This is this is really odd, though. I don't. He's got he's got a photo of himself with a backpack, and how he's gone to Kenya and Namibia to donate money well that's great because they need the help but i'm also very confused about why this his, is relevant and his and his ramblings like mm. i don't know what's going on here i have no idea but and this he is... found a dead sheep oh in yeah a, i don't want it in mm. a just a in a, just a field, a dead sheep, and he's saying, stop being mean to kind animals. This is just a sheep that died in on a field. I don't... I don't understand what's happening, but people are making a, a mass, mass exodus. exodus. The guy's a smart dude. He is. He's got great ethics. He should not be controlling social media. Unless it's his own social media. Yeah. The thing that concerns me, and I'm like, like I said, I'm all for the ethics behind the brands, but saying things like, we rushed the formulas, they weren't good, da-da-da, we were giving you this these proceeds, but now we're giving you this. Mm. Um, blah, 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 please tell blah, blah, blah this. This is all unprofessional. It's it's like... Um, you know private... what it reminds me of? What? Jared Blandino's sister. Yeah. It is. No, but like, even Jared but Blandino in a different kind of is, way. Even Jared Blandino has his shit together where he just doesn't, like, yeah. uh, vomit out trade yeah. secrets and stuff. He's yeah. like, he's smart enough to know how to use social media. He does sneak peeks and cringy stuff, yeah. but he knows what he's doing. This is like, we want to go back to not marketing to you, but being 100% transparent, which I get, but at the same time, being 100% transparent isn't always the best thing to do. And it's not a great idea um, looking at the brand and like trying to respect the brand. Mm. I still respect Brandon, but I think he's going through some stuff. I think he might be as well, to be perfectly honest, which kind of makes me feel a bit awkward even seeing that. Because it, like, I, I'm kind of worried, potentially, about his mental health. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Originally, when I saw these, I thought so maybe weird. he felt like he wasn't getting enough um, recognition as the founder of the brand. That's what I thought initially. Yeah. And then the more I watched it, the more I was like, no, this no, is... It's inappropriate. Yeah. It's inappropriate. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Anyway, guys, we 
have to wrap this episode up because it has been too mammoth, long. mammoth, way, way too big. Um, is this going up on a Friday? I yeah, it is. It, it is. is. We yeah. need an emoji. Um, how about the monkey with the covering the face? <laughs> See no Shit. evil. Yeah. You know evil. Brandon, just speak no stop, evil. Stop, please, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, so monkey emojis. Yeah. Hell, you can choose another one if you like. Brandon you did want, want a donkey. He did. He wants he Apple He told to... Apple to make a donkey. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.